Whether or not a particular drug works in VSS or on any particular sy uh, symptom, at this stage seems to be the luck of the draw. We just don't have any evidence whatsoever that particular symptoms will be affected. You have to understand that our old-fashioned perception of the brain was nodal. In other words, we allocated particular activities and properties to a particular part of the brain. And that always implied that it was a particular neurotransmitter system. So the chemicals used to, tran to transmit signals from one nerve to another would be the same. It would always be the same chemical. We've moved in the last 20 years to thinking of networks, and not only networks, but interactive networks. So it's a little bit like a public transport system where you've got in this city trains, buses, trams, and nobody ever thinks about pedestrians, but they do count. So that the overall performance of the system depends on each individual network interacting with every other network of, of movement. So that's what happens in the brain. So Theoretically, the symptom of, let's say, visual snow itself, as opposed to the ancillary symptoms, may be produced by an abnormality almost anywhere in the brain if it's involved in the network that produces the noise that is visual snow.